This is Twit. Where did I hide it? Oh yeah, it's at the top. So this is one that I like to use for my phone when I just want to like throw a bunch of clips together. Mm -hmm. Don't send a crash report to me. Because <laughs> um, sometimes like I'll record something on my phone and it's kind of a pain to then upload the video so then I can edit it on my desktop and it's yep. just a, some simple clips that I want to throw together. Um, and in the case of one of the videos that I made, uh, it was me and Padre. Mm -hmm. uh, he was filming me trying to put a the water jug onto the water cooler. <laughs> and so he had a video and then a coworker of ours was also taking a video. Um, so then they both sent me the video clips and it like I downloaded them to my phone. And it was easy enough just to throw like the three clips together that I have down here at the bottom. And suddenly you have a little sequence. You and have you have grabbing the water bottle, you have you putting it down, you have you celebrating after the fact yeah exactly yeah <laughs> celebrating I'll, I'll show you the finished product I, yeah. I exported it and when you export uh, from the app you can either save it to your gallery or save to the creative cloud mm -hmm. or publish and share um, you have a few options of what you want or you go directly do. to YouTube if you're feeling that great about it yeah which I'm never confident enough just to send <laughs> something straight to YouTube like that yeah uh, but if you're using the Adobe cloud stuff uh, it'll upload to your your portfolio that you kind of have and I mm -hmm. think Let's see, if I go to the website, if you flip uh -huh. over to my laptop, Al, uh, it's like assets.adobe.com, and you can basically share your stuff here and then grab them from a different, um, a different computer or something. So there's some drawings that my brother did when he uploaded this Wow, stuff. those are fantastic, by the yeah, way. Yeah, he's very, yeah, I know, right? Like, we did, yeah, we did our own drawing thing, and then... <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Greg, for making me feel bad. Um, <laughs> but where, let's see. Ah, Premiere Clip. So if you do use Adobe, it'll you can upload this and uh, view it here. So this is one of your source files, and then I saw you had another folder that said uh, Premiere Clip Export. So this is where like your, your original files exist, and then Export is where the finished product, if you feel like it, exactly. is there, which is nice. It, you know, sorry to interrupt, but it, all of these apps are what is called non-destructive editing. So as you're going in there and you're shortening a clip, you're, <laughs> you know, playing with the, the audio levels, whatever, your original source files stay intact. Right. Which is really important to know because don't feel bad like, oh, you know, I, I don't know if I want to alter this, like am I going to mess it up? You're not going to with these apps. The yeah. source files stay intact in this editing environment. You're able to manipulate things as you want. And if you make a mistake, you can usually undo things or you can just scrap the project and start over. Right, it's right. going to be OK. But, but feel secure in being able to just play around and learn as you go. Yeah, don't don't worry about losing or writing over something that you already recorded. Like, yeah. that, that won't be the case. <laughs> specifically delete those files later, but I don't yeah. see why you would. Uh, but if you go back to the top shot, uh, you can also see basically the audio levels there on the clip. Uh, you can quickly like move it around by holding down pretty much like the other apps that you showed. Yeah. Uh, you can change the different transitions, but also if you want, oh, that's to share, uh, you can throw in you can throw in an audio. You can do, you can do audio fade in, fade out. Nice. Uh, smart volume control. So if you, um, it'll be increased or decreased the audio uh, so that it's consistent. Because mm. there's nothing more mm. annoying than like you know turning up the volume when you hear a clip is really quiet, and then like something happens and it gets really loud. The worst. So if you have a clip that that has these highs and lows, you can kind of uh, negate that by turning on smart volume. And it'll it'll try and keep the volume at a consistent level. Um, that's, that's pretty great because editing audio is still one of the toughest things for me. I feel like, <laughs> you know, we call, you know, I've called it in the past from folks I learned from sculpting audio, really making sure that all the audio sounds easy. It's kind of nice, you know, to hear in this app. It'll do it for you. It's somewhat intelligent. And then, uh, uh, you know, later on, once you once you kind of get more of a feel for these things, then you can take your own your own tact on editing and balancing audio levels, but um, it's nice to not have to worry about that out the gate here. Right, and a lot like uh, Instagram or whatever you, you know, your filter uh, app of choices, they have a bunch of different ones that you can just throw on real quick oh, if nice. you want to kind of stylize it. But also if, uh, if you're throwing some clips together and you want to put some music underneath it because it's 
Quiet Audio or something, there, there are some stock songs that you can use, none of which are terrific, but there is also the option to uh, lay down one of your own tracks or something that you have saved to your phone. Uh, I don't have any music saved to my phone because I, I was really hoping everything. you had the, the Benny Hill song in the background to lay under this. Typically, I would. That would have been pretty good. Like that would no, I feel game. like I, I really missed an opportunity with that. <laughs> but I did export this video and I sent it, uh, I put it on the TriCaster. So if Alex wants to play that, we'll see how it came out. See, you remove the that sticker. sticker. That's how. It doesn't stand a chance. It's, it's the diabetes. Uh, the diabetes makes it very difficult to remove. Always blame the diabetes. And then you have to hold it over your head. Yep, yeah, thought I was going to be all cool showing off my water cooler skills. Just <laughs> you still got it everywhere. I'm that pretty sure awesome. Padre planned that to happen. Oh, did he put some water in the thing before you dropped it in? Is that what it was? He he claims innocence, but there is like a little bit of water left in there, which I, I wasn't aware of. Pa Padre's a prankster. I could see him doing that. I could see him setting you up. I. He seemed genuinely surprised. <laughs> but I'm I still was surprised skeptical. watching it.